or we're moving from the infrastructure lay be, layer being the differentiator towards more conversations around the platform layer and the application layer. So think of it this way, Gemini is a core foundational model for Alphabet, um, and yet what we're talking about is Gemini becoming more of a consumer application, an enterprise application, an ecosystem, something that you can plug into existing applications across all of Google's core apps. So we're moving from just building the foundational model and training it to inference, smaller models, nano models, and in many instances, applications that can be used in your day-to-day -day life that are very either industry vertical specific or use case specific. And that's where we're in a little bit of a period where it's still very TBD on the scaling of some of those efforts. So I would argue there's as many as six companies that are competing to be the consumer AI application on your smartphone. Uh, there's three large cloud computing companies competing for AI workloads. And then there's also going to be an, it, the agentification of AI in the enterprise that all gets built as an application, not necessarily as a foundational model. So that's the nuance that's starting to play out right now in the market. Martin, uh, excuse me, uh, Eric Martin here. Great to see you and a pleasure having you on the show. What you're basically describing is the focus moving downstream, uh, right? Commercialization closer to the end user, uh, uh, closer to monetization uh, as well, right? Uh, I wonder what you make of, uh, you know, the old joke. I mean, obviously, there's an AI explosion going on in China as well, right? And the old joke is, and we've seen it happen with EVs already, right? The old joke is, you know, you got a room, whenever China walks into a room, profits walk out. That's likely to happen again, right? We've seen it happen in, in, in EVs. Nobody can make EVs cheaper. What happens then when it happens to AI? Is it okay for uh, our, as in uh, U.S. hyperscalers? Because, look, it's going to end up being two separate and very distinct verticals, or, or is there going to be competition and, uh, and a race to the bottom? I'm not necessarily sure we're going to see a race to the bottom. I, I would draw maybe a little bit of a different analogy. I think when you saw mobile computing rise, you know, the infrastructure layer was made up of towers and spectrum and things that were very localized. And then eventually you got to an application layer where business models like Uber and Airbnb and others were built uh, on top of basically offline experiences that occurred. So I think where you decide to partner on the workload side is likely going to be um, a decision by corporations and large entities. I think there'll be competition for that globally. I don't think that competition would abate. But I think the application side is likely going to be much more regional than global, um, at least the way we see it setting up right now.